what is up everybody and today we are going to be showing you guys the best snipe filters in NBA 2k22 right now um so yeah let's just go and get into the video okay so we are going to start off with the budget filters um all right so yeah this filter is going to be a um galaxy opal minimum bio filter so what you want to do is you want to find the lowest the cheapest galaxy opal card and then you want to put it a certain amount under the um galaxy opal so it can be a snipe so we're going to try and find the cheapest galaxy opal right now so the last time i checked the galaxy opal is around four thousand and um so <clears throat> what you want to do is all right so yeah it is around four thousand okay so what you want to do is you want to move your maximum buyout i put the maximum buyout around thirty four hundred so obviously the prices will vary depending on the galaxy opal but um yeah so you just want to keep on refreshing until you can get a snipe by anything this filter might be a little competitive um but i do know a lot of you guys might have gotten the dennis rodman the dennis rodman so um you could actually if you wanted to you could enable the dennis rodman he's really cheap as you said four thousand and he's pretty good defensively so um if you wanted to then then you would try and find the cheapest galaxy opal on this um the new one with dennis rodman enabled so it looks like it is around ten thousand. so i would personally put the maximum buyout around 8500 um so buy up i don't know why that popped up um buy anything that you see here and um anything will be a snipe so let's get on to the next budget filter so this next one is going to be a theme takeoff filter um and these these packs or this filter right here would probably work best on tuesdays if they continue dropping the takeoff packs every tuesday um if not it's still a good filter the packs are still on the market so what you want to do is find the cheapest takeoff player Kawhi leonard i think he's around twenty two thousand. um so what you want to do here let me just try and find the cheapest um so yeah it looks to be a, around 20 22 000, oh okay twenty thousand eight hundred. so what you would want to do here i would probably put my maximum buyout around seventeen thousand five hundred and buy anything that pops up here you can see any takeoff card from past packs you can see dark matters galaxy opals buy anything this filter might be slightly competitive since the new packs are still on the market but this is one of the most consistent filters in the game especially with the new packs if they drop every tuesday it is a lot more consistent so um yeah this right here is really good i'd say definitely suggest it and um Let's get on to the next budget filter one more budget filter then we're gonna go on to the bigger filters now this one right here is just going to be a dark matter cheapest filter just like the galaxy opal filter um and uh this right here so you just want to find the cheapest dark matter wait why am i i don't know why i'm going so low here i think i'm pretty sure it's around eighty thousand. But you want to find the cheapest dark matter, and then you want to uh, you want to um, set it at a certain price below, so it could be a snipe like we did with the Galaxy Opal. So let me just quickly find what the cheapest price is. Um, look like it went up a little bit. I think my auction house is kind of bugging out. Um, I think it is around eighty thousand. Okay, yeah, 80,000. Um, so you would probably want to set your minimum buyout at around 70,000. And you want to buy any dark matter that pops up. So on this filter, you can see any dark matter in the game, which is a, definitely an upside on that. Um, so yeah, just keep on sitting here, refreshing until you see a dark matter. Buy anything that pops up. Anything is going to make you some nice profit. So the next filter we are going to be doing is a Dark Matter Atlantic Minimum Bio 500 filter. 
So, um, as you can see, this filter is really nice. You can get Kevin Durant, Chris Bosh, Chris Stops, Kawhi, Patrick Ewing, Carmelo. Um, you know, you can get a lot of good cards on here. And you can get some of the new cards, you know, Chris Boss and Carmelo. And then you can get some of the newer cards, the Chris Stops and Patrick Ewing. Or Chris Stops and Kevin Durant. This filter right here, um, you can really see some nice cards. So any card that you buy on here is going to make you some massive profit. So what you want to do, you just want to put your minimum buyout at 500 and just keep on refreshing. Um, this filter is going to be pretty competitive, so you're going to definitely have to be fast. And um, it's also going to take some time, but it's definitely worth it if you end up catching a snipe. Like I said, massive, massive profit. The cheapest one is around is uh, Patrick Ewing, and he still sells for some really nice profit. So um, yeah, let's go on to the final filter of this video. Now this filter right here is going to be a dark matter theme zero gravity minimum buyout 500. So you can catch a Paul George, Zach Levine, or Blake Griffin on this filter. Um, now this one might be. It might take a little bit longer than usual since these packs aren't out on the market anymore they still sell for a lot and since they're not on the market this filter is going to be like not competitive really it's really not going to be too competitive unless you can see these cards on different newer filters which um, i'm not sure you can so this filter you're going to just want to put minimum bio 500 and just keep on refreshing now i have sniped um, a couple of Blake Griffins um, in the past couple days so it is definitely still throwing up snipes pretty decently consistent you're still going to have to spend a good amount of time since they are not on the market anymore but um, you know it is definitely worth it if you catch a snipe so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm out I'll see you guys in the next video let me know if you want more snipe filter videos and peace